thick itching white cottage cheese discharge what to get over the counter that's going to actually work and is it different than what your local OBGYN is going to recommend hi it's me your local OBGYN I love women and let's talk about your yeast infections because many of you have had them suffered them and tried to treat them over the counter sometimes more or less successfully than other times why is it such a difference when you consider one versus the other? Here's the deal. When you consider a one day cream option for the treatment down there, it is a very high potency option. You will have some relief of your symptoms, but because it's a one day course, you tend to see a lesser success rate with eradicating the infection, but at the cost of it really being such a high initial potency that I've seen people get burning, swelling, almost look like an allergic reaction down there because the potency is pretty darn high. So when you come in and talk to somebody like me, I love the seven day course. The seven day, whether it's over the counter or prescription is a lower dose. You do need the seven days. I repeat, you do need the seven days. That is the gold standard. It has a higher rate of cure for the yeast without putting you at risk for a lot of the side effects that come with that very potent one day dose. So I know that there's like a one, a three, a five, and a seven. I think the gold standard go with the seven day has the best cure rates with the least side effect profile.